So I guess the first question is, um, why are you going on strike? Well, we're, we're going on strike to protect the travelling public and to protect jobs. Mm. Um, we're trying to cut 800 jobs now. And after the, the spending review in October, we expect one in four jobs to be going, not just in the underground, but right across the board. So we're determined that the travel public are going to uh, travel safely. We yeah. have people in places of emergencies, and that's why we're on strike. And um, what's been the response from uh, TFL and uh, City Hall? Well, T- TFL, I mean, I think they've got portals running their propaganda department. If you look at their website, half the stations on the Northern Line are closed. Most of the drivers haven't come in, they're saying they're running a good service. Uh, so if that's a good service, we wouldn't like to see a bad one, really. Oh, yeah. And um, one thing I noticed is plans to move uh, staff from being in roster positions to reserve positions. Uh, can you tell me a bit about that? What they want to do is just uh, create a massive itinerant workforce. They know that there's not going to be enough people. They're advertising for 7,000 volunteers during the, during the Olympics. They know there's not going to be enough people to uh, cover the stations. So what they'll create of a massive, they want a flat, massive flexible workforce. They can say, well, you're not working in Heathrow today. You're working in uh, East Ham. So oh, get yeah. yourself down there. So people will be travelling an extra two or three hours a day and not getting paid for them. Oh, I see. And, I mean, so what would you say to people who are considering volunteering for the Olympics? Is it something they should watch out for? Or? Well, look, uh, we all want to have a good Olympics and we want London to have a successful Olympics. And we want people to be doing it in a safe manner. The only, the only way they're going to do that is they have trained, organised, uniformed staff on board and, and they, are, they protect the travel public. And, um, and what's the support like? What's the turnout like for this strike? It's been absolutely fantastic. You can see, I mean, it's, it's Russia already. Still haven't got Finsbury Park Station open. Yeah. All over the place, even TFL. If, if you look on their website, they can't, they can't cover this up. Yeah. Aslef drivers are supporting us. TSSA are supporting us. Nothing's closed. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's quite unusual for Aslef to be supporting it. I heard, I heard from other people they were. Why, why do you think it is that this time they've... Well, they, they, they know that they're going to get it as well. They, they know that they're not going to be immune from these 25% pay cuts. Mm. Or, sorry, 25% job cuts. Because, uh, I mean, even if even if drivers' jobs aren't directly affected, public services are going to be affected. You know, they're, they're, going, to get rid of, uh, they're going to get rid of hospitals, they're going to get rid of schools. Yeah. We're going to get rid of transport systems. So, yeah. so Aslef aren't, aren't, aren't stupid. They're ranking final member in Aslef. Know that it's in their interest to come in and support us. Yeah. Funny, I mean, what do you think TFL's long-term plans are? Well, TFL's long-term plans is they uh, bail out the TFL directors and the banks because, as far as we can see, and I have to remind people, Boris Johnson, uh, when he was standing for mayor, said that he wouldn't uh, countenance any ticket office closures or any reduction in the, the opening hours of ticket offices. Now, there are plans that they brought in. Every ticket office is practically got a reduction in opening hours. So Boris Johnson's a hypocrite, and he's only, he's only interested in, uh, you know, in propping up the banks and, and saving the rich people money. Okay, yeah, thanks a lot.